Hi everyone, I'm Eric DeSando, and today we're going to start a five-year vlog where I talk about, well, actually just help those of you that want to be helped in the entrepreneurial entertainment space, as I call it, the right brain space. So But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. So, I went to college, got out of college, went to Ohio, and I met this guy who was building decks in Ohio. You know, in the back of a house, they have like a stone, and then there's a yard, and we built decks on the back. And I worked for this guy for maybe six months, and then I came up with my own deck company called Dream Decks, a precursor to the rest of my adult life. Dream Decks, about dreams. Um, all my businesses have pretty much been about building people's dreams, helping people build their dreams. Just like I'm going to be doing with you through the course of the next number of years on this vlog and some of the other things I'll be doing to not educate you, but just support your, you know, in you there's a thing called Dharma and it wants to come out and it needs to come out. And for many of you, it's not going to if you don't have somebody show you. So if I can be that person, uh, which I've done for thousands, literally thousands of people over the course of 20 years, uh, then it will leave a little bit of a legacy for me, which is something that I, you know, I'd like to leave this planet with people giving a shit, at least for a week. <laughs> my friend Mike Marecki called me and said, Mike, come to LA, Eric, get the hell out of there, because he saw me on network television. He said, you need to get the hell out of there, and I have a couch, and I know a guy. So he says, I know a guy, maybe you can do some business with him, maybe you can build some decks in LA. I said, great. I said, great. Like, I said, okay, I'll come. come. So uh, again, in another episode, I'll talk to you about how to make decisions from your heart and your gut. Thankfully, I was 23 and fucking stupid because I didn't think the idea through or I would have never gone with no money and nothing to my name and no nobody except for one friend, but I did go. And it was the best, dumbest decision of my life. Again, we'll talk about this another time. But I got to LA and I opened a company called LA Dex with a guy, the only guy that he knew. He introduced me to this guy, Matt, and we built this company together which flourished and after about a year and a half of working that I took some money and I opened a casting company. I met a guy playing basketball which was something that always happened with me. I was always going to the gym and meeting these dudes and this guy was working in casting. The first, when he said to me we need to go into casting, I thought it was really a cool idea. I didn't really think about it too much. I just said yeah, let's do it. I took as much money as I get out of the account. I gave all my equipment and all the jobs to my old partner and I opened up an office on Wilshire Boulevard and we called it 10 Casting. 10 casting and eventually I actually got good at casting and by the late 90s I was casting like legitimate stuff. I was making money and I was having fun and I was learning uh, how to be in that business and I knew there was a lot of extra work for kids and uh, I just did, thought it was really ridiculous that these parents are spending all these thousands of dollars trying to get their kid a home run when there's a very few home runs but there's a lot of singles out there. You can make, you know, you can get on the sets and most of these kids just want to work on a Hannah Montana set or something. So. I, I, I got the leads from a friend of mine who has had a big product that he was selling. He was only selling 10% of the people that came in. I took the other 90%, I paid him for those leads, and I was bringing people in and selling them in front of the room. And we were killing it. And uh, I mean, we weren't making a ton of money, we were making money. And a little girl named Aliyah Shawkat came in. Aliyah Shawkat um, is now a star. She came in with her mother, she's nine years old with little freckles on her face. And within a month, they booked a commercial, Jeans commercial, and two weeks later, they booked a movie called The Three Kings, which is with Mark Wahlberg, George Clooney, and Ice T, or Ice Cube, one of those Ice guys. And she was a little girl in that movie. That's the central character movie. And they traded the gold at the end of the, uh, the movie for the lives, including little Aliyah, nine years old. She actually broke her arm on the set, and she's in a cast. It's really cute. And um, the last scene is George watching Aliyah walk away with the villagers. And I went to the premiere and I was so proud. Aaliyah Shawkat is on Arrested Development. She's on a, she stars on a show called Search Party on TBS. She's a freaking amazing kid. She's done about eight series. Leah Pipes also came in with her mother. Uh, Aaliyah, uh, Leah Pipes is an amazing young lady who's done a bunch of shows. She's currently on a show called The Originals, which is on uh, CW. Um, she stars on that show. She's done a bunch of stuff. Both of these young people bought my information product and had success very quickly and I said, fuck it, I want to open an agency. 
I just I had a blast and I thought, man, I want to own an agency. That agency has turned into, uh, it turned into a really great opportunity for me to grow my brand. By the early 2000s, I was putting kids and adults on TV series and I had a young girl come in who was uh, half white, half black, really uh, beautiful 23 year old girl, but couldn't get booked. Um, but she was amazing and very bright and very committed. And um, we ended up getting her on Deal or No Deal with three other women, which was a, which was a game show. It wasn't like it was a big deal. And she, I think they made 250 bucks an episode. And they shot like two or three episodes a day. And she, she was one of those girls with the suitcase thing. And that girl who I worked with for seven years is Meghan Markle. And Meghan Markle, as you probably know, since she's on the cover of every magazine right now, just married Prince Harry. Um, Eva Longoria came into my office in 2004 and helped change my life. Mario Lopez I worked with for seven years. Uh, uh, Luis Garcia from George Lopez allowed me to work with Sandra Bullock for five years. I'll, I'll tell stories about these people down the road and 80 other people on series. The, the first 10 years of my professional life, I had worked from nowhere until the agency opened, maybe three years of the agency experience, I was now here. The now here part was my brand was strong. People knew who I was. I was well uh, known in the city and even through the country. Um, I was making money and I had um, a lot of personal clout, a lot of brand clout. So when I sold the agency, the now here part of me, which, was, which had never happened before, coincided with money. The kids company allowed my brand to accelerate that company's growth from zero to hundreds of thousands of dollars. As a matter of fact, we were doing over a million dollars a month in sales. It was a huge hit. And we were planning on expanding to 10 different cities. And in 2009, the, everything went away. From that boy selling worms in the woods of Massachusetts, I had built a business of 400 employees, seven offices. We were doing millions of dollars in business. Um, we had 25,000 clients. Uh, we were going to be expanding, open studios everywhere. I was driving nice cars. I was dating, you know, beautiful women. I was living in a condo in West Hollywood that could see the whole city. I mean, all the things that I really, what I had dreamed about, I had become. And then everything went away. Within six months, my whole life was different, changed, almost homeless because of the economy shift, which just took out everything. I basically let down 25,000 kids and I took a major pounding. Personally, my brand got you know, destroyed, my money was gone, I bankrupted, I became a fool. So I went from now here to nowhere. Now you're starting to see why the show, I had the show, because I have been on the top and I've been on the bottom now, on the bottom twice, on the top once. This climb is gonna be much slower and honestly, I'd rather do it this way where I'm serving and helping because I don't want to be a douchebag. I, I, even this, I don't want this to be douchey. It's really about, um, I have a deep-seated need to help other people, and I got away from that a little bit when the money started flowing in so heavily. And I started to work on recruiting girls from Miss USA, which I, I did for four years. And uh, I put everything I had into it. I trained these girls, I had an information product. I did everything I had learned up to that point because now I'm nothing, I'm a nowhere person. I went back to nothing from being passionate about working with kids and, and building that business. And so I just put everything I had into this, into this Miss USA stuff for California. And we just had a lot of growth, I mean explosive growth. And Trump and his company ended up giving us three more states. I ended up working for almost a dozen states during that time through the franchise owners, because Miss USA franchises out every state. And I just killed it in year three, I got on E! News, and that led me to get on a show with Janice Nickinson, where I'm a judge on a series, and that just led to a lot of opportunities. But I worked for Donald Trump. <laughs> Difficult is to work for a man who's never going to see anything but his own needs and wants. Um, narcissism is just a difficult thing to overcome. Um, and so I ended up leaving, and it was kind of ugly, because he likes, he doesn't like you to leave, he likes to, sh he likes to smear you on the way out. And at the time, he was very tight with the press, so he could do anything he wanted. Now it's not quite that way. Um, and I went back, I went into producing again. I produced a TV show called America's It Girl, and that's why I'm here. America's It Girl taught me about social media. I then opened up my own social media company, which is called Celebrity Influencers. I have a, the hundreds of people that are 
um, paying a monthly fee of $99 and they get serviced by me and my team every week. Every week. They get photo shoots and video shoots every month. It's a, a way to help other people grow their brand. I think I have a slant in entertainment to help all you. You know, if you live in Ohio, if you live in, in Bermuda, you can be in this business. I'm gonna show you how to do it and I'm gonna help you um, down the road. Look forward to seeing you in future episodes.